what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel as you can tell behind us we got the genesis out of the garage if you saw the last video you'd know we decided to take this thing out just for one last joyride before we finally start peeling this vinyl wrap doing a little fiberglass repairs and getting this thing prepped to be rewrapped and redone for the upcoming summer now on the way home from that last video from the car wash, I drove by this place. This is the same place we filmed the full walk around video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down in the description below. So go check that out. But when I drove by this place, I was like, you know what? I should stop there and film just one last video. Now, this is something that gets asked to me all the time. And that is, is a Nozatec vinyl wrap worth it or not? What's the goods? What are the bads? And all that stuff. This vinyl wrap, if you didn't know, has been on the car for a year and a half. 18 full months it's been outside most of that time a few months in the garage over the winter it has been snowed on i will go over what i use to clean it does it scratch easily does the gloss last any imperfections would i use it again and that's all coming up in this video right now first things first in this video we're going to do a quick little walk around so you guys can see this color in direct sunlight in partial sunlight and in the shade and then as we do that we're going to go over what color this is so for those who don't know this is a nosatec super gloss metallic green mamba it's an absolutely fantastic color i love this color i've grown so attached to this over the last year and a half that's why this car this color is still on the car i absolutely love it you get a ton a ton of metallic as you can see as you start creeping into the sunlight it is just a fantastic color a bunch of metal flake here we'll try and get a close look up at it super super nice color like i said absolutely love this highly highly recommend this color second thing we're going to go over in this is is it glossy and is it orange peely and that's like one of the biggest like benefits of using a Nozatec. It is super glossy and especially compared to some other brands, there is almost zero orange peel. Now I didn't realize how little orange peel this vinyl wrap had till I saw other cars and started paying attention to it. Like for example, I have a friend who has their car wrapped with an Avery vinyl. I love Avery vinyl, but for this color, my car was wrapped in Avery, uh, but you can just tell that that color has so much more orange peel than this color right here or this brand Nozatec right here and the gloss on it is actually really nice i brought this car to a body shop uh beginning of last year to get the hood and the trunk re-clear coated and they looked at it and was like wow if you i didn't know the car because they've obviously known the car around here but uh they said if they didn't know that the car was vinyl wrapped you'd probably never know it was vinyl wrapped unless you look at stuff like seams corners some imperfections here and there stuff like that so this vinyl wrap definitely super glossy and it does have very very little if any orange peel and i'll try and get you some close-up looks here as best i can so you guys can see that for yourselves we're at this like kind of three quarter view where we're like semi sunlight, semi shade here. I feel like this is just a good angle. Shows you a ton of different looks between like the metallic and then what it looks like in the shade. I feel like you can really see how glossy it is going down the side. And this is in the shade, mind you. So take a closer look. I'll try my best to show you guys how smooth this is. Lack of orange peel. I mean, look at talk about gloss you can see me right there um and this is a light color i mean this is a a fairly light color it's not black which would be super reflective or as light as something like white which would have almost no reflection visible because it's so light so i mean as you can see super glossy there i mean that's the gloss on my carbon that's the gloss <laughs> on my vinyl wrap and you might even argue that the vinyl wrap might be nicer then the gloss on the carbon you can take a quick little look i'll try to get you guys a good angle on like the metallics the lack of orange peel and just the gloss this stuff has in the sunlight like i said walk around the car again see it in the shade i mean look at you can tell i got tan pants and white shoes and a gray shirt on you can see that clear as day in the video so yeah big thumbs up from me as far as glossiness and orange peel goes but um yeah and look at that just look at that in the sunlight so you're probably watching this video up until this point thinking to yourself wow that all sounds fantastic i'm 100 doing a nose attack vinyl wrap on my car there's zero cons so far all pros and 
that's what I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna be the first one to admit, be 100% honest with you, there are drawbacks to using a Nozatec vinyl wrap. And it comes down to two factors. One being, and this is most important, is that the scratchability of this stuff is crazy. And then the other part is, in my particular case, and I'll try and show you where it happened on the car itself, but for some reason on the driver's side door behind me, where that body line kind of dips in and out, it has started to kind of like fade or haze over or whatever you guys want to call it. That's how I'll try and get a close-up shot of it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in the uh, video here, but I don't know if it was there from the very beginning. I don't know if it was something maybe like an install error or they, not like an error to say, but when they're stretching the vinyl to go into that body line, I don't know if it kind of just got overstretched and hence why that kind of ruined or kind of just distorted the gloss layer of this vinyl. I know that is a thing when you overstretch or overheat vinyl. Uh, I don't know if that is the case here because I don't remember if it was there from the very beginning of having this vinyl wrap or not. I just know that I have noticed it over like the course of last summer because obviously I was sitting down cleaning off and wiping off the lower section of the door and that's how I noticed it. I can tell you that nobody else has ever noticed it at a car show or car meet or just hanging around in general. A lot of people haven't even noticed it after I pointed it out to them. So is it a big deal? Um, kind of yes and no. If you want like a pristine, absolute, pure perfection vinyl wrap, and that's gonna happen, it's kind of a bummer. But like I said, I don't know if it's just the vinyl wrap being old and it happened towards the end of the summer last year, or if it was something that could have happened in the install of it. I'm not 100% sure. I don't vinyl wrap cars. I know some experiences with other vinyl wrap companies and brands that that stuff does happen. But like I said, in this case, I don't know if that was the problem or not, but I will show you here because like I said, this is something that happened to me could happen to you. Is it something that's gonna happen to you? I have no idea, but it is something I wanted to point out. Like I said, I'm gonna try and demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about with this haze spot. And it is right here on the car. It goes right there. And there's a couple of spots down there that I already know that you 100% will not be able to see on camera. But like I said, it's right here. It's right above my finger. I don't know if you can tell the difference. There's a reflection in the non-hazy spot and there's one in the hazy spot. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but like I said, right here does it, along the door down there does it. There's a couple other little spots all over the car. And like I said, it is mostly where the body lines dip in on the car and then it comes up and over. So as you can see on the door here, it dips in, bubbles up and then goes back down and that's exactly where the haziness is. So like I said, is that something that happened on the install or is that the vinyl wrap itself? I'm not 100% sure. You guys can uh, make your own judgment on that. But like I said, either way, I'm super happy with this vinyl wrap, super happy with the install. So not knocking the install or anything like that, not knocking the vinyl, but just wanna point out something that did happen to mine. Next up on the cons list is kind of a two-part thing, and that is the durability as well as the scratchability of the vinyl wrap. I call it scratchability because this stuff is no secret that a Nozotec vinyl wrap is super prone to scratches. And I'm trying to show you a couple of what I consider the worst scratches on this car, and it's all along this section right here, but right here. I don't know if that's gonna come off on camera. Now you can see a little bit of it, but there are some big scratches right there. I have no idea how that happened right there when nobody else got scratched or nowhere else around there got scratched. Then another one that bothers me a ton is on the rear fender flares right underneath my thumb. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Now, what I mean by super, super prone to scratching is that actually happened because I took the fabric trunk liner out of the car and I walked by the car and just that tiny little brushed by was enough to scratch the vinyl wrap. So now with that being said, it is super important for what you use to spray down and wipe down the car because if you do not spray it down with the right stuff, you will 100% not have enough lubricants in the spray and you will scratch and put swirl marks all over this vinyl wrap much like you would paint. Now I tested this stuff out when I first got this done with just some regular old spray stuff that I was using on my old satin Avery vinyl wrap and I used it on the bottom of the side skirt and it 100% just like I said got a whole bunch of scratches on it. Now 
we will go over what i use and what i recommend the best for cleaning this stuff here in just a second but the next thing i want to cover which isn't actually a con i consider it a pro and that is the durability of this vinyl wrap now if you can take a look at my front end you can see that it is on the ground even at ride height this stuff is super low and it is held up absolutely fantastic as you can see this front section which does take the brunt of the rock chips looks fantastic there is one imperfection right there but that is an actual crack in the bumper that i have to fix here so that's the worst thing that happened on the front end so durability as far as that part goes super good now one thing i will say that did get a lot more rock chip than i expected is the bottom sides of these fender flares so that is stuff is just getting constantly pelted with rock and road debris from the front wheels so on any vinyl wrap you should expect that to happen and then even if the car was painted those would be rock chips in the paint itself so the fact that the vinyl wrap is chipped but then nine times out of ten everything underneath the vinyl wrap is still going to be pristine i think the vinyl wrap completely did its job i vinyl wrapped the car to protect it and in my opinion that is doing exactly what i wanted it to do Moving right along to what I recommend everybody use to wipe down your Nosatec vinyl wrap, and that is one of these two options right here. The first one we'll go over is Chemical Guys Wrap Detailer. Now, like I said, I tested out just some random detail sprays that I had from my last vinyl wrap on the undersides of the side skirts, and they did not have enough lubricants to not scratch the vinyl wrap. Now this stuff supposedly has a bunch of lubricants in it and it has some conditioners in it and stuff that's supposed to not dry out vinyl wrap. This stuff was good. However, I only use this stuff a couple of times just on some couple of test pieces and some test spots on the car. But in April of 2021, when we went down to Slammed It Up Nashville, I have a friend who I never met prior to that, but he owns a detail company called Prime Detail Supply, and that is who gave me this stuff. He came over to me, we finally met in person after a long time of knowing each other online. He said, hey dude, what are you using to clean your Nozatec Vinyl Wrap? I said, I don't know, man. I haven't really wiped it down since I got it. I got this Chemical Guys Wrap Detailer to try out, and he said, hey, I have some stuff I want you to try and you tell me what you think about it. And that is how I got my hands on this stuff. Now, they own not only this detail company, but a vinyl wrap shop. And they do a ton, a ton of a Nozatec vinyl wraps. So when he told me he had something that was filled with lubricants, was not going to scratch the vinyl wrap, and they've experienced on it in their own vinyl wrap cars and this is what they recommend to their own customers i said absolutely gave it a shot and i absolutely fell in love with this stuff i will say the only real downside if you can even call it that for this stuff is that you need to spray it on let it sit a little bit not a crazy amount like 10 seconds and then wipe it off with one side of the cloth then after you do that you flip the cloth over get the dry side and kind of hand buff it out but when you do that this stuff not only shines up the vinyl wrap like crazy it works on the vinyl wrap the tail lights my carbon fiber the painted roof everything i could probably use this stuff on the wheels if i wanted to and be super happy with it however these guys make an insanely awesome absolutely fantastic wheel cleaner that i would also highly recommend you check out if you do have a walmart local to you that supplies chemical guys wrap detailer it is a good option however like i said i think this stuff is by far the best option that you can use Alrighty guys, so for the sake of not making this video any longer than it already is, we're going to start wrapping this up here. But hopefully this video gave you guys a glimpse and an opinion on is a Nozatec Vinyl Wrap worth it or not. Like I said, I've had this on the car for 18 months. It's lived a long life and a hard life. I've driven this car a ton, probably put 
8,000, 7,000 miles on this vinyl wrap. It's super low to the ground. Everything that is in the wear zones, I'm super happy with how well it held up. I'm super happy with the gloss, super happy with the lack of orange peel. And then once you get one of those two detail sprays like I pointed out, you're gonna be super happy with how well this stuff shines up and then how well it stays protected with that stuff as well. So in my opinion, would I use a Nosetech vinyl wrap again? Absolutely. Would I recommend it to other people? Absolutely. Especially when you get these metallic colors, they look absolutely fantastic. But like I said, I don't wanna make this video any longer than I have to. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Peace out, catch you on the next one.